Hi there and welcome back to Doc Off Call. My name is Dr. Maddie and I'm a doctor from the UK. Now, I have a background in ear, nose and throat surgery as well as accident and emergency medicine as well as family medicine. Now, today I'm going to be talking about Justin Bieber announcing that he has Ramsey Hunt syndrome. You might have seen his video that he released on Twitter showing that he had some facial paralysis. Um, I have uh this syndrome called uh, um, Ramsey Hunt syndrome. And I'm sure a number of you out there might be curious as to what this condition is, or some of you yourselves may have experienced something similar. So in this video, I intend to give a brief description as to what Ramsey Hunt syndrome is. I'm gonna talk about its classical features and how we diagnose it. And then I'm gonna talk about the likely implications this will have on Justin Bieber, what the treatment might be, as well as his prognosis. Now, before we start, I have to say how good this footage is that we actually got from Justin Bieber, because it clearly shows some classical features that you find with Ramsey Hunt syndrome. So thank you, Justin Bieber, for sharing this and allowing us all to learn from the experiences that you've had. So first up, what is Ramsey Hunt syndrome? Well, it's actually a complication of shingles and it's the name that's given to the classical symptoms that appear when shingles affects the facial nerve. Now, just a bit about shingles. It's caused by the same virus that causes chickenpox, varicella zoster. And as a result of this infection, their facial nerve gets inflamed and irritated, hence giving rise to these classical features. So if you develop Ramsey Hunt syndrome, it tells me that you had chickenpox earlier in your life. And what happened was after you got over that bout, the virus went to sleep in the nerve it initially affected. Now, this virus lays dormant in your body and remains harmless unless it gets reactivated. And when the virus gets reactivated, it has a chance of either causing shingles or something like Ramsey Hunt syndrome. So next, you you must be asking yourself what causes shingles to reactivate itself in the body. Well, it typically reactivates when our body's immune system is depressed and when it's less able to fight off infections. And it's at this point that the body becomes vulnerable to reactivation of the chicken pox virus. Now, stress can often be a trigger and I would speculate that that might be what's caused Justin Bieber's to come up. Many studies have shown that stress can weaken your immune system and that those people who are under significant stress are more vulnerable to developing infections. For this reason, it's believed that stress can lead to outbreaks in shingles and hence Ramsey Hunt syndrome. So what are the symptoms of Ramsey Hunt syndrome? Well, Justin Bieber actually illustrates these really well with his video. Typically, you get a blistering rash which might appear around your ears, your hairline or over your scalp. This rash can also appear inside the mouth. Now this rash or blistering rash is often quite painful and people tend to describe a burning sensation over the area that's affected. Now as the virus affects the facial nerve, you get weakness of the muscles that the facial nerve supplies and you can end up developing a facial droop. Also, as Justin Bieber demonstrates, you can have difficulty with closing your eyes or blinking on the affected side. And obviously loss of control of those facial muscles as well as the ability to blink can lead to a loss of facial expression on the affected side. Other symptoms people might experience is an altered sense of taste on the affected side. And sometimes people can experience difficulty with eating, drinking, and even speaking due to the weakness on that side. And then lastly, you may get localized symptoms to the ear, experiencing things like hearing loss, tinnitus, dizziness, and of course, pain on that side. Now, it's important to say that you may not have all these symptoms at once, or some symptoms might develop later on than others. Next up, how do we diagnose Ramsey Hunt syndrome? Now, it can be quite difficult to come to a diagnosis of Ramsey Hunt syndrome, and this is because symptoms can vary from person to person. And also, symptoms of Ramsey Hunt syndrome are quite similar to other conditions that affect the facial nerve. And so the way we diagnose it as doctors is taking a thorough history and a full physical examination, paying close attention to the ear as well as the function of the facial nerve. Now the majority of diagnoses can be made looking at these two alone, however sometimes additional tests might be required and these might involve things like hearing tests, blood tests and possibly an MRI scan to have a look at the facial nerve and make sure there's no other pathologies affecting it. And so at this stage, you're probably wondering how do we treat Ramsey Hunt syndrome? And so prompt treatment is really important. In fact, we want to have started treatment within the first 72 hours of symptom onset. And the treatment involves a course of antiviral medication, as well as steroids and some painkillers. Now, unfortunately, the antiviral medications can be quite large and you need to be taking them up to five times a day for a week. So you're gonna be taking a few tablets. And I know you're probably wondering, this is quite a dramatic condition. And so what sort of recovery might you 
expect? And the answer is that if antiviral treatment is started within 72 hours, up to 70% of patients make a full recovery. If antivirals aren't started within this time frame, then the chances of a full recovery reduces to about 50%. And this is probably a bit of common sense, but the more severe the damage, the longer it's going to take to recover and the less the chance there is that you're going to regain full control over those muscles. However, if the damage to the nerve is mild, then you can expect a full recovery within a few weeks. What I'll do is I'll leave a link down below to a useful video that will give you tips as to how to help manage your facial weakness, as well as issues with the eyelid not closing. Basically, the main points to remember are that if your eye doesn't fully recover within two to three weeks, you should really seek referral to an ophthalmologist. And if you struggle to take care of your eye with eye drops and tape, then ask your GP to refer you sooner. And with regard to the facial weakness, if it shows no sign of improvement after a month, you should really seek a referral to a facial palsy specialist through your GP. Now, when I say a facial palsy specialist, this could be a neurologist, it could be an ENT surgeon, or it might be a plastic surgeon, whoever you have local in your area. And ideally, you should be referred to a specialist facial therapist to help with your recovery. Okay, well, I hope you found today's video useful. Please do give us a like and share this video with others so that they can also learn more about this common medical presentation. Otherwise, I think this might be a sign for Justin Bieber that he might need to take some rest from his touring and concerts and really allow his body the time to rest and recover. I wish him a speedy recovery. Otherwise, if there's anything more you want to know about this condition, please leave those down in the comments below. My name is Dr. Maddie. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.